Many generations now, we have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear their death. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. Right, brother? Okay. The so, clan mothers, yeah, the clan mothers. That's and you know what? That still exists to this day. That's if you go down to the Cherokee Reservation in Kuala, North Carolina, if you go down to where I'm from, my Hollywood Res, or the Seminole Reservation down in Florida, they still have clan mothers in place. Even up here in the Northeast, amongst the Pequot and the Mohegan and amongst the Iroquois, I men in the Haudenosaunee, the Mohawk, the Seneca, the Oneida, they still have the clan mother system in, in place. The, the, the tribal systems are still in place. Okay? That, that's bullshit. But all that's going to be done away with, man. All that's going to be done away with when the Lord destroys America. The tribes, we're going to get the ones of us that the Lord has done. In the kingdom of heaven, there ain't going to be no clan mothers. What's the kingdom of heaven? That's talking about when Israel is set up on the earth ruling the 12 tribes. Gad and Reuben ain't going to have no clan mothers telling nobody what to do. There's going to be women that's going to be having husbands getting popped, bringing them for babies. Quick scripture. First, all you clan mothers, you're going to go right back to being regular women, what you're supposed to be, servants. All right, go ahead. Uh, first Timothy's 2, and I'm going to read uh, verse... 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the so man. So that whole clan mother system is off. A woman is not supposed to tell a man what to do. And then another thing our people went off on. They went to this matrilineal system. Amongst the Indians, a lot of us, even my tribe, the Seminole, the Cherokee, predominantly most of the eastern tribes, your nationality is determined by your mother. Meaning if your mother is, let's say, Mohawk, then you're no, Mohawk. No, that's bullshit. Your father could be Mohawk, right? Your father could be straight up Mohawk, but your mother's a white woman. You can't really be a part of the tribe. You're not really considered a real Mohawk. Ain't that some shit? Or Cherokee. If your father's Cherokee, you can't be enrolled in the tribe. Your mother has to be, or your Seminole even. But now the Seminoles, they, 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 no matter what parent is Seminole, you can be enrolled. But the Seminole tribal roles are closed anyway. They've been closed ever since I was born. That, you know what that, that goes back to? That's nothing but motherfucking queen of heaven worship. That's right. Everything that this brother's talking about, that clan mother shit, and um, the whole thing about your mother, because even, you know what, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, even still to this day, when you say, oh, you, oh my, my, my mother's are from the Caribbean, oh, oh, you're West Indian, and they don't even, they, they, just, they just circumvent your father, don't even bother with what your father is, they just, uh, or oh, whatever your mother is, like that dumb nigga Alex Haley when he did Roots. He researched his grandmother's side on his mother's side. He went and searched the wrong side out. Because your family is your father. Quick scripture, Numbers 1 and um, Numbers 1 and 18. Yeah, he went off. That, that's fucking going off, man. Okay, he went and researched his mother's line. That's all fine and you good. You can do that. That's all fine and good. He did it just to know. <laughs> he so-called find out who his ancestors was on his mother's side. 
he discovered Kunta Kinte and all that bullshit. But this is the thing. The thing is this, right? It don't matter. That wasn't his father's life. Nope. Yeah, but it was good because it brought out a lot of history yep. of what happened in, to our people, to the Israelites going into slavery. It was a lot of good information showing you how the white man is the devil, how he put the so-called Negroes in slavery and all that. It was a really good movie, Roots. It was a, it was a good uh, was a documentary. documentary on slavery. It was good. Yep. But he went up his mama's side. Later on, he did go on his father's side later on. But then he went on his father's mother's side. Remember a few years later, uh, in, the, in the 90s, he did that. Holly Berry played in it. Mm -hmm. Queen. Danny yeah. Glover and Holly Berry played in it. In the early 90s, mm -hmm. he came out with another uh, thing. It was called Queen. Which that was going into, that was on his father's side. But it was his father's and mother's side. I was having, man. I was having a real demon. He's a real fucking nigga, man. He didn't research his father. He went on his father. He said, okay, I'm going to do my father's side, but not his father's mother's side. What the hell is wrong with that guy? He just, he, he just couldn't stay away from that, that woman thing, That's man. That's that fucking queen of heaven fucking bullshit. Man. Yeah. Okay. Numbers one and You're two. supposed to go on your father's father's side, man. That's right. And his okay. father before him. And his father before him. That's that. right. Your daddy, meaning your father, his father, his father, his father. That's how it goes. Your father, let's say if he's my father, and I want to search my history, right, my real lineage, his father, right, that's what I'm saying, let's, let's say this is my father. Let's say this brother was my father. I'm going to go start with him, then I'm going to say, okay, who was your daddy? My, which would be his grandfather. Then I'm going to go, who was his daddy? Who which was is, his daddy? My who was his daddy? Which is his when you go to Matthews, the first chapter, and I read this Saturday, it gives you the genealogy of your Howard Shine himself. Yep. <laughs> Going back to King David, man. The man. On the man side. It had nothing to do with no freaking Mary. And Because when you read it, it comes down, who does it bring you to? Joseph the carpenter. Who was the husband of Mary? I can read it and prove it to you, right? It says Joseph the carpenter. Yep. Who was the husband of Mary? Right. It didn't say and Mary. So if Mary was so relevant, how come they didn't give it her? How come they didn't go with her genealogy? No, it went with Joseph, man. Yep. And it didn't go to Joseph's mother. Nope. The Joseph the carpenter, Yahweh John's father. Okay, Joseph's mother. Who was she? The scriptures don't give a fuck who she was. She was just another woman. That's right. They didn't even mention it, man. Yep. Okay? She was just some woman that Joseph's father popped to bring forth Joseph. That's right. All right? Go ahead, man. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled, them, they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. If you got something, uh, also Elder Ram Lab has joined us in the studio. If you want to interject points and bring out scriptures, feel free, brother. It's you know, pretty much everything is open forum with us. You know that. It says, uh, and they declared their pedigree after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So all these Native Americans that go by that matrilineal shit are going off. Kind now when you go out west, toward the western tribes, they go by the father. Which they more on point. Like, 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 like the Lakota and stuff like that. Them brothers, they more on point. Okay? Okay, um, now we're going back to the history. It says, uh, In the last hours of moonlight, May 26, 1637, English Puritans with Mohegan and Narragansett allies surround the fortified Pequot village at Missituck, which later became known as Mystic. The Gadite way or the Indian way of saying Mystic is Missituck. Then the crackers say, look, we're just going to call it Mystic instead of Missituck. It says, within an hour, 400 to 700 men, women, and children are put to the sword or burned to death as the English torch the village. Unfamiliar. The white man being the devil, slaughtering our people again like he's always done and still doing to this day. See, today, they're not doing it so outright like they did back then. Now they're doing it by way of uh, disease, by, by germ warfare, chemtrails, food, uh, the food that they feed, that uh, they put into our communities, man. The alcohol. They put in water. The alcohol. The chemicals that's in your foster Okay, food. you put that, that, that uh, here in the ghetto, you got 50 million liquor stores all on one corner. And out in the reservations, them border towns, where you got all the drunk Indians that come off the reservation to these border towns and they got all them liquor stores set up 
giving our people all that that bad liquor and all that all that damn night train and rock gut liquor, man. Yeah. Damn, brother. It says, uh, unfamiliar with war targeted at civilians. For the first time, native tribes experienced the total devastating effects of warfare practiced by Europeans. The mystic massacre turned the tide against the Pequots and broke the tribe's resistance. Many Pequots in other villages escaped and hide among other tribes. The Indians said that about yeah, I said that about the Kanazi yeah, about the Kanazi Indians the Kanasi, out in yeah. Brooklyn. Yep. You go to Brooklyn today, you ain't gonna find no Kanazi Indians out there. Yep. Right? Who knows? There might be people floating around out there who are descendants of that tribe. Like I said, I know one sister who's a get that sister I know from the uh, from the powwow circuit I, I know. I forget her name, you know, but I know of her face when I see her. I still see her up until recently when I go to powwows. She's a Kanasi. And she actually lives in Brooklyn, I believe. But her people were removed from that area. She ended up moving back into that area. But as a tribe, the Kanasi no longer, there's a part in Brooklyn called Kanasi Brooklyn, named after the Kanasi tribe that roamed in that area. And there were other tribes. The Algonquin, well, the Kanasi were an Algonquin speaking tribe. Meaning they spoke Hebrew. Which they were Lenape. Now, there were a lot of tribes in that area. One of the predominant tribes in that area of Brooklyn were the Kanasi, but who pushed them out? The Dutch. A lot of them were killed off, but predominantly a lot of them were chased out of that area, moved west or south or north, and integrated with other tribes. That's what would happen. If you had a tribe that was killed off into small numbers, they fled. And they went and they, they, they took refuge with another stronger tribe, and they just uh, integrated into that other tribe. Okay? Good, brother. Okay. Right, it says, uh, it says the mystic massacre turned the tide against the Pequots and broke the tribe's resistance. Many Pequots in other villages escaped and hide among other tribes. Now stop, and I'm going to say something. That's why a lot of the Mohegan are nothing but a band of the Pequots that broke off. That's right. From, uh, from, from, uh, what was the guy's they name? They broke off from Sasuckus. Uh, so that's right. And it was, it was Uncas. Uncas. Un Uncas was a Pequot, and he didn't want to, um... He, he wanted to befriend Esau, but Sasuckus didn't want to deal with Esau. And you see what he get? You see what Uncas got for wanting to befriend the white man? That's why today, when you look at that Pequot, they're not Pequot, the Mohegan tribe, go to the Mo Mohegan Casino up here in Connecticut. It's in Uncasville, Connecticut. They have a picture. It's in Uncasville, Connecticut, because it's named after Uncas. They have a picture of the tribal council up on the wall, and they all look like crackers. There's only like one guy. I believe he's the chief or the tribal chairman. He's the only one that really looks like he might be a real Gadite or a real Indian. The rest of them look like crackers. Okay, go ahead. It says, the English, supported by Uncas Mohegans, pursue Sasuckus and the retreating Pequots down the New England coast until most are either killed or captured and given to tribes friendly to the English. In other words, they were given to other Gadite tribes Uncle Tomahawk that were friendly tribes. to the English. Uncle Tomahawks. Uncle Tomahawks. Yep. Okay, but And given to tribes friendly to the English. Some are taken by the English as domestic servants, and few are sold into slavery. Sasuckus and a few of his followers escape, but ultimately are executed by the Mohawks as a token of their friendship toward the English. See, the Mohawks were Uncle Tomahawks too. But all of our people ended up becoming Uncle Tomahawks. Because then later on down the line, when the Revolutionary War broke off amongst the Mohawk men in the Iroquois Confederacy, some of them, some of them, first of all, our people had no business getting involved in those wars. That's right. Those wars were amongst the whites. You should have let the whites fight it out and destroy themselves. Many generations now, we have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear, they're deaf. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You're from the city, 